in this video, I'm going to talk about a problem uh, that we observed as um, our students were working on uh, their uh, projects uh, that involves uh, vehicles and transfer nodes. So I thought I'd uh, create this uh, simple model and make this short video to talk about this problem and the solution to it. So in this model, I have a, a model entity, um, object instance, and I have um, a vehicle, uh, object instance, um, and I haven't uh, changed any of the default uh, properties except for uh, the initial node of the vehicle that is set to be, uh, or the home node of the vehicle that is set to be the output of source one. Um, I have uh, my source one with all its default uh, properties. I have um, a transfer node here. I have bidirectional uh, paths, uh, two bidirectional bi paths, one from the output node of the source to the first transfer node, and then the second one from the transfer node to the input of our sync object. So we would like our transporter to transport uh, our model entities from the output of source one to the input of the sink and then come back and pick up the next entity and so on. And again, our vehicle has a capacity of one. So as always, I have set the write on transporter property uh, for uh, uh, my output node at source uh, to true. And I've specified uh, the specific uh, vehicle that I would like to use, which is my vehicle one object instance. And uh, for my transfer node, I haven't changed any of the uh, any of the properties. So when we run this model, we expect to see the vehicle transport uh, the part to the sink and come back and pick up the next part, but that doesn't happen. The vehicle drops the entity here, and then uh, after a few entities, it just stalls and doesn't move anymore. Uh, the model is still running, but nothing happens. It just stops there and entities are piled up, uh, lined up in the output of um, our source. So, so I, uh, why not change the uh, write on transporter for this transfer node also to, uh, to be true? And let's just select uh, our transporter name to be vehicle one as well. So now when I run the model, again, the same problem persists. My vehicle and my entity, they just stop at the transfer node and the model doesn't work, essentially. It turns out that the problem is when the, ent uh, when the vehicle object gets to a transfer node, it tries to unload the entity and then it fails because there is not enough capacity, uh, physical capacity, the transfer node to unload and load the entity again. So what happens is when the vehicle and the entity get to uh, this transfer node right here, we have this right on transporter uh, request, but the entity is already on the vehicle. So for some reason, this problem happens. A simple solution to this problem is to simply set the destination node of the entities at uh, their pickup location. So in the output uh, node of the source, I am um, simply going to change the entity destination type from continue to, to a specific node and uh, I want the node, the destination node to be input at sync one, which is this node right here. And now with this simple modification, again, I'm, I'm setting the destination node of my entities uh, right here at the output source of uh, source one, output node of source one, excuse me, to be the input at sync. And now when I run the model, um, the problem is solved. And uh, as you can see, the vehicle, uh, transports the entity all the way to the input node of the sink, comes back and pick up 
uh, picks up the next um, entity.